All right, so I uh, have had this operational for a few minutes here, and uh, actually like 30 minutes or something like that. And this is my weather station. <laughs> it's reading the wrong location because the antenna is only six feet away from here, so it's overloading the uh, <laughs> it's overloading the Kenwood here. But uh, it does show up correctly on the internet. Now, it's a low power transmitter running half a watt, and uh, the first path that it took was wide 1-1 one -one. and I heard the fan kick on on the 710 here sitting down there it's kinda of dark but here's the 710 sitting there and uh, I heard the fan kick on so I thought that it might have relayed through my base rig here so let's go over to the computer and see what we see alright here's what we've got on the internet uh, website is uh, APRS.FI and here is the string of information coming off of my weather station and the path down here at the bottom shows that it went through my base radio, my 710 and let's see if I can do this without making the video choppy where's my mouse, here we go Oh, where's it at? There it is. So my path, this is a nice little feature of this website. Here's my path. It went from me, it skipped the digipeter, which is like right over here. And there's also one right up here. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. There's a digipeter up here, or over here. And there's a digipeter down here. So since my weather station relayed through my base rig, it went right from my radio up here to... Kegao, KG0W, and I believe he's an eye gate. I think he puts it out on the internet. So that's how this information ended up on this website. It went right from my base radio to him. So I skipped the digipeter. <laughs> so anyway, let's see. Let's look at my path. Um, where's it at? Where's it at? I've got to zoom back in. Ah, dang it. Now we'll just hit enter again on the keyboard. There we go. So, we can look at my raw packet here. And down here at the bottom, you can see right here that my uh, base radio picked it up and relayed it. Now that was my status. I don't think the weather station data in itself my 710 is set up to relay because that still went out to a Digipeter W0UPS which is up in Fort Collins. So I don't think my 710 can relay that uh, actual weather station data. I could be wrong on that but there's the station that put me on the internet KG0W so it worked. Um, that configuration that we did earlier ended up uh, getting me out on the internet. So it looks like it works. Um, maybe next month there's a uh, there's an event coming up that I might be able to uh, actually deploy a digipeter into operation as a mobile rig. So I guess we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, there we go. It worked. There's the proof right there. So uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to send any comments or questions this way if you uh, need anything answered. Have a good one.